Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get free topographical maps using CalTopo. So this is going to require two things from you. You need a computer and a printer to print the maps off with. So what you're going to do is you're going to click this link right here. The only reason I'm not doing that is because it takes me into CalTopo with all the settings that I've already adjusted. So we're going to click on this right here and it's going to take it to this page and you're going to click start mapping. And usually it's not even on this. Hold on. So this is where it's going to start you. It's going to start you on this map builder topo. And then you just click, you know, um, you can type in whatever coordinates or the rough address of whatever area that you're trying to map. But um, I'm just going to pick a random spot. We're going to do here Waynesboro. So what you want to do is click down here at 7.5 topo maps. All right. Then you want to click on this print icon right here. This will take you to a separate tab where you can adjust the area that it's going to print out. So you want to make sure you're on a geospatial PDF. You know you got the correct pay size for your printer. So next is the scale, and that's what it's going. To, this is going to really depend on you. So if you're trying to do like a larger area that you want to map for, you can go down to this one in fifty thousand. And then you want to enable your grid lines. See, the only thing if you're doing this for like let's say a training area or you're you know you're on somebody's property, this map size might not work well for you because of how you know scaled out it is. Because the property on which you're trying to train might only encompass you know one to four grid squares at most. Um, so instead, you'd probably want to bump it down to 1 in 25,000. That gives us a much smaller area to work with. And this is also good if you're just trying to encompass a small area like this town, let's say for an area study. This one's an also a good one to use for that. So you make sure you get your grid lines on. You got your datum. Let's see, what else? You want to leave this on auto. Don't change this unless you're fairly you know, familiar with CalTopo. Next, you're going to change this to USNG, and you're going to hit Generate PDF. All right, and now you got your PDF. And then all you got to do is print it out from there. But one last thing before I let you guys go here, it does have everything that you need to use the map. It's got your declination diagram and your scale. As um, far as I'm aware, I'm not sure that you can uh, get a legend to print with these. Um, that's something I'm not familiar with. But uh, this should be everything that you need to train and effectively run a land nav course uh, map-wise. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.